with an FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead to this Saturday's FA Cup trip away at Plymouth Parkway. Aggie, how are you looking ahead to this one? Uh, yeah, all right. all right. It's obviously been a um, decent couple of days off the back of Tuesday's win. Um, and we'll, we'll just plan accordingly. We've, we've watched a few of their games. Um, and, uh, you know, we know they've got to this round of the FA Cup for a reason. Um, so, uh, despite their league position being what it is, it's, uh, you've still got to win games to get to this point in the FA Cup, and they've obviously done that. So, we'll, uh, we'll plan accordingly, um, train tonight, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll treat this game um, the same as every game. I was going to say, they're, they're, I think they're bottom of their league with, without a win so far, but I'm sure you're probably looking past that and, and looking at what they can pose as a threat to you. What, what is that? What, how have you assessed them? Uh, yeah, no, as I said, they, they, they've, they've got to this point uh, in the FA Cup for a reason, and, and you know, you often, I think, they've only played a few games, and at times league positions can be a bit false, and the league table tends not to take too much shape until after sort of uh, a real decent amount of games um, so you know based on what we said they're a good football inside they, they move the ball well um, uh, they rotate you know, they've got um, some good individual quality uh, that we've got to be respectful of so yeah no it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game but like I said we, you know we go into the game expected to win but it's uh, pretty much most games that we go into so it's uh, yeah we just think if we if we can negate their threats and, and, um, and you know, obviously make sure we do us very well, um, we, we play to our high standards and play with the right intensity and purpose, which we've done on Tuesday night. I think, um, as we said after the game, would be a match for anyone. And looking back uh, in, at midweek, the, the one I went away at Welling, um, I know we got your immediate thoughts after the game, but how have you reflected on that? Yeah, I'm just really pleased with the intensity that we played with. Um, as I said, it wasn't perfect by any stretch. Like, we're not, like I said, after the <coughs> Dartford game, we're not sitting there thinking we're Man City, but equally, you know, there was a lot of positives. So I just like the way that we went about our business and uh, we played with a good edge, a good intensity, we played with purpose, we were aggressive, we were physical, and we were a difficult team to play against. And if you couple that with um, some of our in-possession stuff and the way that we play, albeit there's not as much as uh, we would like at the minute, we're still creating chances and scoring goals. You know, if you marry those two things together, you're, you're going to win a lot of games. And looking at the team ahead of Saturday's game, um, I know Sam Beard missed out in midweek. How is he looking and how is the rest of the team as a whole as well? Um, Beard is touch and go for Saturday, but other than that, we're, we're pretty pretty much there. Tati's still out, um, but he's getting closer, which is good. Um, because uh, you know he'll be a welcome addition back to the group um, and, and increase the competition for places we've got as well which and that's really positive I mean it's uh, you know we're going to the game going well, this is a tough tough team selection a squad selection even uh, I mean you look at the quality of player that wasn't even in the squad on, on the Tuesday so um, we're in a really good place in that in that respect and I think the group knows that there's no Givens in terms of team selection, as we've seen with the changes we made from Saturday to Tuesday. So, uh, with the right type of character, that tends to provoke the, the right sort of environment um, in terms of players want to. They want the shirt. They want to. You know, they want. They want to be starting, and, and equally, they sort of embrace that competition, knowing that they've got a very good player breathing down their neck, which is which is where we're at at the minute.